special room, so thank you, brother. <laughs> hey, uh, listen, if you wouldn't mind, I would really love to hear your perspective of the Good Samaritan. Because every time I think we have these types of conversations, I think the, the example of that story, this, this man that we don't know, his name or his background, but we know that he loved his brothers. I was just wondering if, if you could share maybe your perspective with this topic in mind about that scripture. Uh, very, very good. Yes, I, um, that's something that uh, I actually think about uh, personally, because remember, as the Savior told that parable, uh, he said that um, uh, the men who preceded, the two men who preceded that uh, Samaritan were leaders of the people, a priest and a Levite. And uh, often in my, uh, uh, in my service in the church, either as a bishop or as a high council or as a mission president, uh, uh, whatever. I, I, I always thought, I said, look, you know, as I'm driving to this uh, meeting here, this zone conference with missionaries, or am I going to this meeting, is there something happening around me here on the way that I should be mindful of, that I, would be, that I should watch for? Is there somebody that uh, needs to be blessed with just a good morning, how are you today? Uh, this is something I teach a course here that I created here at BYU Hawaii. The other BYUs don't have this. It's a course on church organization and leadership. One of the things I teach my students uh, uh, is that I said, look, you know, when you when you're in church on Sunday, especially if you are a member of a ward council, be sure, be sure. Okay, to take some time to greet people, especially those people that you see that do not are not in some kind of group. They don't have a clique that they belong to. We often pre-pandemic would find them sitting on the back of the chapel of the sacrament hall or along the perimeter, along the walls. We would see them every day, uh, every Sunday. But we didn't know their names. We didn't know anything about them, and um, and I uh, and I used to tell my students, look, you know, be sure go there. If you are a member of the ward council, go there. Extend a hand. How are you, brother? How are you, sister? We're glad to have you here today. Even if you if you personally, if you personally don't care, but remember, you were called by revelation to represent the Lord, and the Lord is glad. So you can speak in his name and say, we are glad that you're here today. And for some some of us who may be coming to church struggling with some personal issue and even asking, does anybody care that I'm here? That's going to be a bomb. So that's uh, something that for many years has been in my mind. And, uh, and I have made an effort to go and greet people. In fact, I, I used to tell, whenever I served as a bishop, uh, uh, when I would call, uh, 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 propose a name of somebody to be a executive secretary, after the man would be called by stake leaders, uh, I would have some words uh, with him, instructions, and said, look, you know, what you need to do is to free myself and my counselors, okay, to shake hands and remind us to be shaking hands. I love Third Nephi chapter 11 for many reasons, you know, the, the Savior's visit among the Nephites and the Lamanites. But when the Savior calls Nephi, who was the prophet at the time, Mormon tells us, remember, Mormon was just summarizing this, but Mormon felt it was important to tell us that Nephi was in the middle of the multitude. He was not in his office. He wasn't, no, Nephi was in the middle of the multitude. And I said, yeah, you know, uh, when I served as a bishop, I remember, I said, look, if the Lord comes here, I want him to find him in the middle of the, in the middle of the members there, shaking hands, talking to the children, welcoming the children, welcoming the youth. Uh, to this day, I compliment the youth. I compliment the young men. I compliment the young women. When they give a nice talk when they do so well uh, serving in the, at the sacrament table uh, uh, or some service project. Uh, because I don't think they see a whole lot of, uh, 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 other than their youth leaders 
and their parents, they don't see a whole lot of others complimenting them on anything. And they don't say, how come they're not serving missions? How come they're not interested in this? How come they don't go to seminary? Well, some incentive, you know, would certainly help at that age. I also tell my students, look, you know, make sure, okay, to give some time to the elderly, to the aged. I know they're going to they're going to bore you. But remember, you are on the Lord's errand. You're going to go there. How are you today, brother? How are you today, sister? They're going to say, oh, I'm okay, but uh, I have this pain in my leg. I went to the doctor. He changed my medication. And now I have a constipation. And so I have to go back to the doctor. Then next Sunday, you ask again, how are you today, brother? How are you today, sister? Oh, I'm okay. I went to the doctor. He gave a medicine for the constipation, but now it gives me this headache, and I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to go back there next Sunday. How are you today, brother? How are you today, sis? Oh, I'm okay. You know, my headache is gone, but now my, my other leg is hurting and so on. But I, told, I tell my students, look, they're not asking you to fix anything. All they are, in essence, asking you is, can you give me 20, 30, or 45 seconds of your attention? Can you give me a word of uh, comfort? Oh, bless your heart, brother. Bless your heart, sis. Oh, God bless you. Oh, may the Lord bless you that you may have, uh, you know, uh, 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 that you may have uh, freedom from, the, from, from this, this, this leg pain, from this headache. That's just it. That's just their asking. Okay, if I get to be that old someday, you know, that, that's all I'm going to want. So, look, can somebody just pay a little bit of attention to me? Okay, I don't want you to fix anything. So, these are some, you know, this a uh, long answer to a short question. Uh, the brother even laughed here. Oh, oh no, you left on Zoom, left from one end of the screen to another. <laughs> and so, the answer was so boring that he left the, the, the meeting. But anyway, no. Um... These are some of the thoughts. You asked me my thoughts in relation to the parable of the uh, Good Samaritan. These are the thoughts that I've had for quite a number of years. And, and by, by my long answer, you can tell how long I've been thinking about this. <laughs> Thank you. Don't forget it. Do not. Oh, that's good. <laughs> any, anybody else have any questions? Brother Martins?